hi everyone so now we are going to discuss about lead code with javascript so we are going to discuss the problems on lead code using javascript so let's see our first problem now you can see one of the problem in the lead code which is uh, problem number 2620 uh, which is having an counter one and now they given a problem statement given an integer n return a counter function and this counter function initially returns n so initially that means if i give the value 10 initially it will return 10 that's fine and then returns one more than the previous value every subsequent time that means next time when i call it 10 will become 11 or the next time if i call the same function 11 will become 12 if i call it again 13 so initially it will take it one value so what they are saying it is if they gave it 5 if i if they gave it something 5 initially it should be 5 but if they call it the same thing again it should be 6 it should be 7 it should be 8 so indirectly they are asking you to implement a particular counter function so the name itself justify it lead code problems are the best for uh, you know uh, job uh, job interviews or kind of competitive programming one where you can learn it more now this particular concept is actually related to the concept in javascript called closures now if you see closure a closure is nothing but an inner function can access outer function values so there are uh, imagine there are uh, multiple functions one function inside and another function like an nested function so outer function values whatever are there that outer function values can be accessed by inner function now let's see here create counter is an outer function and which is having an inner function which will return so this inner function can take it here whatever the value from the outer function n which is n so all i need to do is return here uh, n plus plus if you do n plus plus see here important point is you should do post increment where if i do plus plus n uh, initially 10 5 if i give 5 will be updated and will be given as 6 but if i go, go here n plus plus then what will happen first if it is 5 5 only will be given but it will be updated later and then it will be given 6 in the next subsequent class so let's call this particular one let me call it here let's undo this particular code so counter i am just removing the comments one which by default they gave so here if i call this particular one with 10 so it will return one function so whatever the function returned the function will become counter now they call the counter function so counter function will return something called n plus plus so that means first time if it is 10 answer will become 10 then again called 11 then again called 12 the logic is perfect so let's run it up once and then check it up here you can see let's see run and let's check it here once sir yeah it's accepted with the case one where the case one is this giving 10 and getting the values 10 11 12 see i am also getting 10 11 12 that's fine and case 2 where they gave minus 2 and it satisfied with minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 so both the cases they satisfied now sir you can make it actually shorter so see instead of doing this all you can make it an arrow function okay and this one also can be an arrow function where because of one statement you can make it directly an arrow function so you don't need this now now inside this also because it's an arrow function again inside this where you can say and arrow functions don't need any return statement to be updated so see i just made it the normal function once as arrow functions is within one line still you will get it both the things still it will pass both the values so solving the critical problems in lead code will help you to get in job. Thank you all.